Hi everybody, this is a tutorial on how to create tests and quizzes in Lincoln. Um, you go to the Lincoln page on the North Bergen website and you see up here we have home. Um, why isn't this? Okay, uh, reporting, test design, and so on. So you go here to test design. Click that. Go to tests. Okay, then comes up the item bank test banks um, and you have all your tests that you create here so you go to add new test bank create a test I'm going to do um, fifth grade um, you go to a subject so whatever subject it is that you're creating the test for social studies I'm going to call it um, social studies chapter 3 create Okay, so then you go over here, let's say you look for it, okay. here, you go add new test, so again call it chapter 3, create, so it's creating the test for you. Okay, so this is where you're going to get started with um, with the test okay so now you see here you could either import an item because they, they do have a bank and link it you could do create an item usually I do create an item so this way you create the questions for the tests so create an item so here you have um, different options you could make it multiple choice uh, multiple choice variable, true or false, inline choice, fill in the blank, extended, a ton of things I usually stick with multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, and extended, which is open-ended. So let's try multiple choice, okay, to start, because you can have a variety of different questions on your test. So enter question. So you click here, and you type in the question. So I'm going to do um, something from the last grade I taught was fifth grade. So we're going to do social studies, um, from chapter three okay so I'll type in my question right, let's do it this way trip taken with the goal of exploring is called okay so that's it and you have to have your answer choices here so you do a couple of um, your answer choices okay so you click that you go here Okay, so now you have your answer choices. So we'll say, okay, is it a navigation? Is it expedition? Is it a journey? Or is it the North West Passage? Okay, so the key here is make sure you click on the correct answer so the computer knows, link it knows what the correct answer is. So this is the correct answer to that question over here that I just typed. So you have to make sure you click that so they know that's the correct answer. You say okay. Okay, so that's your question. That's your answer. Okay, save and create new. So it save that. So now you have, you're back here, okay? Um, and it assumes that you wanna keep doing multiple choice. And you'll type your question here, and then you will, oh wait a sec, sorry, wait a minute. Okay, so let's continue. Um, so the next question, if you wanna do multiple choice, great, you just keep it here, you enter your question, you do the same thing. Say you wanna change it though, say you wanna do a couple of multiple choice, now you decide you wanna do some fill in the blanks. So you go up here to the options, fill in the blank. Okay, so you enter your question here. And this is from chapter three I'm getting the information from. So here we'll do the Catholic Church sent religious teachers or blank. You're going to have to fill in that blank to 
convert Native Americans to the Catholic Church. So they have to fill in the blank. So we click here. Um, you have to write the correct answer here. Uh, what I do is, to avoid any problems with misspellings, I put a word bank on the board um, with different words. So this way you know the kids, whatever word they choose, they're spelling it correctly. Because if they don't spell it correctly, the computer is going to mark it wrong. So make sure you have the words on the board because if the kid knows the answer, but then he or she misspells it even by one letter, Link it's going to mark it wrong. So the answer here is missionaries. And I always double check too to make sure I'm typing it correctly because that's what the computer is going to look for. You say okay. You go down here, save and create new. And then it brings you back again. So then again, you continue on. So now you're up to your third question already. So again, you keep looking up here if you want to stay with multiple choice, whatever you want to do. Say the next one you want to do true or false. So you go here. True, false. I see you enter your, you enter your question. Say you want to say reform means a change. So then you would have to click either true or false. In this case, it is true. So you have it marked here. If it was false, you would mark. false but it's true so we'll leave it at true say okay and then you do save and create new okay save for the next one so up to question four um, you want to do this one as open-ended extended text okay so you enter your question here Explain why Christopher Columbus wanted to go on the expedition and how he persuaded the king and queen of Spain to support it. So they would explain it, okay? And you have to obviously award that points and grade it yourself. So then you would say save and create new. Okay, so that's just a sample, so, um, four questions. Um, and then if you, when you're finished with your test, you would go save and close. And then it takes you here and you have to award points. Um, well, this one, we didn't get up to number five, so we can delete that one. Okay, so it brings you here. So you click. And then, oh, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so then we would go here. All right, so it shows you what the question is um, possible points so say you wanted to do um, 20 30 40 50 60 70 say you wanted to do this one as 20 points right because that would be 20 30 40 50 60 and maybe the open-ended you wanted to do was 40 points okay so say you wanted each of these three 20 points and the open-ended say 40 points so you could award it the points so however many points and then you say go save changes. Okay, so then you go to question two. All right, so that is your uh, fill in the blank. Possible points, 20 points. You go down here, save changes. Then you go to question three. Okay, that's your question, possible points. 20, save changes, and then we have your open-ended, 
which you want to award however many points. Say you want that one to be 40. Of course, we have to make sure everything adds up to 100. Save changes. Okay, so everything is closed. Okay, so you want to then preview it. Test is ready for preview. Okay, so now you could see how it looks, how the kids will see it. Okay, so then you would just, you could either take the test or close out of it. Um, you could just see how it works for the kids. Let's make sure everything's correct. Okay, and then they would, they have a text box here to write in. Okay, then I'll say, but you want to, she wants to move, yes. Okay. So now we do, okay, everything's saved. Okay, then you can see, we can close it. Okay, and then you'll see in your test bank, when you do have to um, go for that, let's go back to home so this way you can, um, you know what to do as far as when you give the test. So then you go to online testing when you want to give the test to the kids. You say assign online test. Okay, you select your grade, subject, bank. Okay, so these are the tests in your bank. Uh, Social Studies Chapter 3, Test Chapter 3, so that is it. Um, Okay, so I don't have a class, so I can't assign it, but you will see um, everything comes up, make sure it's your school, this was the old school I was at, and so on, then I'll say assign. So you click assign, and then it gives you a number, um, the test number. So you put that on the board, and then the kids will go into Link It, and when it says the test code, write the test code, they type in that test code, and then they have access to your test. Um, and then you're all set and then it grades it for you and like I said you just have to go in to um, score the open-ended and give it however many points I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions please see me I'll be more than happy to help you thanks